Just take this gentleman over your shoulder here on the wall. You had to spend a lot of time, a lot of energy. Years to make the photo. Years to make that photo. And why did you make that photo? Because it was important to you and you went there, you made the relationship, you spent time and energy to get that picture. And that's something that, there are pictures like that, similar to that, but there is not that picture. And there is a world out there where as a professional commercial photographer, you don't have to have 200 clients a year. You don't have to have 50, you don't have to shoot a wedding every weekend. If I have 18 great jobs in a year, it's a, just an amazing year, just because of the economics of how much you get paid relative to other sort of editorial assignments. Yeah, for example. I'm the exact same way. Like the clients that I go for uh, with my work, it's very specific, mm -hmm. right? So it's gonna, a lot of people are gonna not want it, but the few people who do, that's what I like shooting. Uh, it explores what I'm interested in, right? Um, but yeah, I only have like a few select clients and it grows, um, comes and goes, but it's not like what you're saying, it's not like 200 things. Right. Because there's so many different niches in the photographer world that you start with what you're interested in first. Um, and then that can be the base that you reach out for. Yeah, That's and there's you. this, people can, people see it, especially professional art directors, photo editors, they see, they know if you're doing something that you love because it'll be different. That's, I have another sort of moniker, which is be different, not just better. Um, incrementally better is a, is a trap that you can fall into. I want, to be just, I want my lighting to be a little bit better because in that art world, better only gets you this far. You have to be able to hit the ball down the middle, but everything after that is about being different. So when, you can, when you're different and you can put out that sort of um, a piece of work that other people wouldn't, that's actually what gets noticed. It's your unique take on something. And this is a... Why I think this is a dangerous secret is because it, most of the people that I know that I've mentored over the years, they work very hard to be like somebody else. And the ones who have um, succeeded the most quickly um, have had really serious personal visions. That's one of the reasons I invited you to be on Creative Live because I think you've got great you. vision and you did so from age 16. You know, I don't know what you all were doing when, I, when you were 16, but I know what I was doing and it wasn't what he was doing, right? Um, and that personal vision is the thing that's going to differentiate you. So you got to be willing to put it out there because you only really need 18 or 20 people to love what you do in a world of millions and millions. Okay. How many art directors are there in the world? How many photo editors? Um, like those folks are looking for different and unusual and that's what you should strive for. Do not strive to be like the person that you aspire to be. Yeah, there's a lot of people who rip off other photographers. It doesn't matter if they rip off me or rip off somebody else. But the thing is, is especially with everyone online, it's yeah. like they're never going to get credited for that work. They're just going to be a rip off artist. Yeah. So my advice to like people who are starting out is like you got to start off experimenting. You might not no one like wakes up with a personal sure. vision. So what you can do is like look through all the people who inspire you and pick and choose things. Oh, I love the way the subject matter feels, but with this light, but with this thing. And then as you experiment with that. Um, and as you grow with that, something happens. Some of your work looks starkly better than the rest of the like bullshit you were doing. Absolutely. And then that is like a good path to go down more stuff like this, and uh, eventually uh, becomes what you're saying. It becomes like very unique and personal to you because you've shaped it from all your experiences.